Yo, what's up guys, it's your boy Franklin here, and today I'm going to be showcasing Expanding Force Psychic Terrain in DD. Uh, but looking at my points team, I don't think I will be able to. <laughs> but um, yeah, looks like, uh, you know, I actually got this team off of one of Blunder's um, Poke Pace off his wall on Smogon. Oh, I guess his profile wall. Um, pretty good team overall, I think. Um, Primarina just goes in, so I'm going to lead off with that first, of course. Um... But yeah, this team pretty much focuses around, <clears throat> you got two choice spec users in Ndidi and Primarina. Uh, Halucha takes advantage of the electric terrain by, you know, pumping its speed up with uh, an unburden. And it looks like it's going to be pretty, pretty straightforward game. Um, I am going to lead, lead off with the, uh, the Primarina. Hopefully I don't lose to a, a lead Zerora. Zerora does kind of mess up this team quite a bit. Um, but we do have the uh, Dragapult. It's there to... It has enough speed to outspeed a um, regular Alakazam. So hopefully we'll get the game going. And noticing my opponent's team, of course, has absolutely zero water resists. Which is great and all. <laughs> um, I'm going to go for the... Uh, let's see what we can go into. I mean, Dragapult does seem kind of nice. So I'm going to go for the flip turn here because I may be expecting to switch out. Um, he realizes that his team is probably weak to this and I expect that, of course. And he's going to go to the Urshifu, which is very strange indeedy. But Moonblast would have took care, taken care of this. But I'm going to go for the flip turn here. Barabushka. Very uh, nice. And uh, now we can just go right into our... Uh... Damn. We can just... I'm trying to see who we can... I'm going to go in my Cinderace. <laughs> because why not, Reno? I'm going to go into Cinderace here. And I expect the Surging Strikes to come out here. Maybe he is a Scarf. Maybe not. I'm going to go for the Zen Headbutt here. This is actually one of the few times that I face Urshifu from Wi-Fi battles too. A lot of the Wi-Fi battles I've gone recently weren't really of that great quality. So, kind of sucks. I'm going to go for the Zen Headbutt here. I know that the water one is the one that's moving, bobbing and weaving. The dark one stands still. Gonna do a ton of damage, goodness gracious. And it flinches the Urshifu, which is very, very nice. Um, I don't see why not. You know, let's knock this thing out. Because uh, at this point, it might be fodder. I was thinking clicking U-turn, but there really isn't much of a point of that. Because... U-turn we're just gonna be it may not kill because of you it may not kill because Urshifu Urshifu has special I mean, physical defense, so able to get rid of that, and that's already a good mon that we can just boink out of there, you know? So let's see what else we have in store. Or what else is in store for us. <clears throat> and honestly, the metagame post DLC has been so much better. Yeah, you know, there are a lot of threats now and then, of course. There's still, you know, the threats that we got to worry about. Um, but overall, I I really I really enjoyed the metagame so far. I'm not going to lie. I'm going to go into my conch here. Uh, maybe I should have kept this for the uh, Zerora. I, mean, I, I do expect maybe a, a Sucker Punch. Not really too sure. Goes for the U-turn. Okay, that's great. Luckily, we made that play. Um... In the event that he goes into Talonflame, I'm going to stay in because I don't want him to getting an SD and then not having anything to deal with the <laughs> with it, which is kind of scary. Yowzers. So he does go into the Zerora here. And I am clicking this Drain Punch here. Yeah. Going to go for the Drain Punch here. Goes for Grass Knot. Maybe he was predicting something. Not too sure. I mean, maybe the Primarina. Nah, there's no way. Why would I go into Primarina for this? I'm going to go for the Drain Punch and get almost all my HP back. Yummy! So, I'm going to go almost back up to full health. And, uh, yeah. <laughs> very, very, very interesting. Um, I'm going to go for the uh, knockoff play here. Goes for the Plasma Fist. That's fine. I should live this. I didn't see a life orb on this, but this is stab, so this will do quite a bit. 
but does not do enough to the point that I pretty much die. Very interesting, by the way. Very interesting calc. Get rid of the Zara Aura, and that's pretty much... Wow, safety goggles. Interesting. And that... Oh, I guess because of the weather, but still. <laughs> so he's going to have to go into Cinderace here. So I wonder what my opponent's going to do. Goes into Talonflame. Okay. Um... Honestly... It's looking like Halucha pretty much just... Looking at, looking at my opponent's team, and looking at my team, he pretty much has absolutely nothing for Halucha. Uh, and I believe Halucha is fast enough to outspeed a... Very fast enough to outspeed... Yeah, definitely is going to outspeed the uh, Excadrill in, uh, in Sand. So we're going to go for Sod, expecting a Swords Dance here. As he goes for the Brave Bird. And that's completely fine with me because this means I can just pretty much go into my Primarina again. And we can click a Moonblast or a Flip Turn. So he has to take the damage, of course. I'm going to go into my Primarina. On Primarina, if this had Scald instead of Hydro Pump, which maybe I might change that. Because I, like, I don't like moves that miss that much. Um, I'm just going to go for Flip Turn here. Put me in Torrent Range, whatever. <laughs> Um, which this should do the trick here. In the event that he does go into the, uh, I don't think he'll go to T-Tar. There's no, no, no way you'd ever want to go to T-Tar in this position here. And I should be able to eat up any move. Yeah, so it goes for the Swords Dance here. Completely fine with me. And I'm just gonna go for the flip turn here. I don't think this will kill it. Does quite a bit. And what I'm going to do here is I'm going to go into my uh, Dragapult because I am Scarfed. Very nice for me. <clears throat> and so this means I can just uh, fire off some Dragon Darts here. You're probably not expecting that I am Scarf. Hopefully not. <laughs> um, so yeah, I'm faster. I'm going to put the Yapper on him. Go for one kill. And a second one. And that knocks out the town flame. That means we don't have to sack any more Ramans there. And uh, yeah. It's not looking great for our opponents so far. Now, honestly, I could have. Maybe I, I, maybe I could have kept the. Uh, I could have kept the. Uh, let's see. What am I trying to say here? I could have kept the Primarina. I'm not too worried about it. Uh, Primarina kind of still does. Kind of still has its utility here. So I'm going to go for the Dragon Darts again right here. As he uh, starts going to Dynamax here. Which is completely fine with me. Because, uh, like I said, I'm not really too worried about this. And I do have Cinderace with high jump kick. So in the event... Oh, let's see. Let's see what happens here. Because I, my pretty much with Talonflame gone, my close combat pretty much kills something. So we're going to weaken the T-Tar a little bit. Good damage so far. It goes for a max Hailstorm. What? That makes no sense. Because now you just got rid of your own sand. What? I don't know, Chief. What's going on over here? Dragon Pole, unfortunately, faints. <laughs> Rest in peace, my beloved dragon. And uh, what this situation here... Yeah, I got the high jumpities on this thing. I'm not worried about this. I mean, you got to switch out because if this thing hits, man, you're going to be in a world of pain right now. Um, I'm going to go for the high jump kick. I don't expect this to live unless it has Choppleberry. Hopefully it does hit so that way we don't have any more problems. And it does. It's going to knock out the T-Tar. And that should be pretty much game because without sand, Excadrill can't do anything. And I'm going to go into my Halucha to get, to get the terrain up. And yeah. <laughs> oh, wow. This is pretty fun. <laughs> so far, so good. Uh, it's starting to look not pretty good for our opponent here. I'm going to go into the Cinderace here. Um, I am a fighting type. So, uh, honestly, I'm not even, I'm not even too worried right now. 
Gonna go for his own U-turn. Hey, that's fine with me, man. <laughs> Completely fine with me. Because I am resistant to that. Might be a, a tie. It might be a speed tie. Um, but it doesn't matter because I made the right play. I could have clicked high jump kick again because technically there's no um, drawback from that. So I'm gonna go for the U-turn here, and I'm just gonna go for the nice good old beauty turns. Does quite a bit to the extra jump, meaning this extra jump is mostly offensive, very offensive. Gonna go for the pre-marina here. And, uh, gonna go for the flip turn. He's taking that damage. Fine by me. And I don't know, dude. Honestly, like, I, there's not really much of a... He goes for the Iron Head. Of course you go for the Iron Head. Does a lot of damage. It's Life Orb, as expected. But I survived that. And Torrent Range puts me in a chance to kill this thing. And it doesn't. But luckily for us... We can go into our Cinderace here because Torrent puts us at a, another a boost for uh, water type moves. Hail goes up, and this boy is going to get deleted by Hail. And yeah, that should be pretty much game because either way, if my Cinderace doesn't um, somehow hit the next move, and his Cinderace is at full HP, unfortunately. Um, I'm gonna go into my high jump kick here. I don't really care. Goes for a low kick, which is interesting. And it shouldn't do too much damage because I'm pretty light. I go for my uh, high jump kick here. Should do a ton of damage. And um, uh, I can just uh. I'm surprised. Is it Scarf? I'm, I'm curious to see if it's a Scarf. We're going to go into Ndidi here because it never got his chances to shine. Uh, pretty much from the get-go, Halucha just smashed this team. Um, because they had absolutely nothing for for its stab or for its flying or fighting com combination. Outspeeds everything after Burden. So, I think it might be Scarfed. Yeah, it looks like it is Scarfed. That did so much damage. Uh, luckily for us, um, I don't really care. <laughs> I'm going to go for Expanding Force. I don't expect this to... Oh, so it's not? What? Well, I don't know. This is strange. What's going on around here? What the hell is going on around here? So it's not... Okay. Okay. Well, this pretty much means I can go into my Halucha here. And... It's kind of crazy, you know, like you win the game, you're just sacking. Let's let's see how many sacks you can have <laughs> before you win the game. But anyways, it's pretty much over because now um, Halucha comes in and clicks the acrobatics. And yeah, it's game. It's a pretty swift victory here. Um, not that I was expecting a body bag, but he had absolutely nothing for Halucha. Especially if it some, somehow ended up getting a uh, Swords Dance up. But once the Zerora and the Town Flame went away, it was pretty much game over. So, pretty quick, quick victory there for me. I'm, I didn't have any really um, standout Pokemon in this game, but I gotta say, I like teams. I like the post DLC meta, man. It's just so clean. It's just much better than what we had, um, than the home meta that we had. But, anyways, guys, hope you guys enjoyed this. I hope you guys enjoy the rest of your week. It's Thursday. It's almost Friday. Anyways, guys, thank you guys so much for all the support. Peace.